And we're back. All right, let's go talk to Zoltan. Let's see if he knows where to find Dandelion. What's this? Have me even drunk her water? Not even. There we go. Ah, you're back. You met Poppy. She wants to start talking any day now. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well? Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we want to talk about Dandelion. <laughs> so, how'd you do? Learn much? Alright, uh, I think I guessed something. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. The Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Priscilla. Uh, Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits, and you've got the general idea. <laughs> Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. Uh, that's big news, sir. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? The laddie's head's on fire. The lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummer's Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Poetry. Alright. Alright, let's go meet Zoltan over there. The King's Fisher. Alright. Now I ain't the real one. You've mistaken me for someone else. Whoa, what's going on here? Bandits, yep. Knock some crabs, quick! Leave Somebody's getting mugged. Oh. And who might you be? Temple guard undercover. Uh, not exactly. Uh, here you go. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town, then. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Leave him alone. And if we don't, uh, then I'll convince you. There you go. If you don't, I'll have to kick your faces in. Cheer that, lads. Alright, here we go. We got some bandits. Oh, Shut yeah. Up fight. There you go. There we got him. Rumble time! Should be easy. Me a Go home, merchant, and try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean, both, yes. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I want that discount, though. All right, here we go. Oh, I gotta come around sundown. All right. <laughs> All right, let's meditate. There we go. Should be it. There, yep. There we go. We had to meditate. Right. It's crowded, man. We got a lot of people. Ah, here already. Come on, let's yeah. fight some arse rests. Yeah, I've been Stop here, man. Soon.
These girls long have yearned for your tender caress to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are. Rend my heart open. Then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both atone. You flee, my dream come. Samarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. Ooh. I wish to listen to music. Music. I'm not much of a music guy I'm myself. The capital of the world. The fuck it is. <laughs> oh, she ruined the mood for everyone here. Oh man. It permits me to introduce uh, this year's persona. Known also as Kalanetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. <laughs> okay, uh. Uh. There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. Mm -hmm. But listen, 
Besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. <laughs> what was that? Uh, oh, there we go. Uh. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy oh. Robin's vault. Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Reuben. All right, here we go. Uh. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. <laughs> Forgot to pay for his wedding to pass a floor at once. Need to wait the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Ooh. She's not happy about it. Alright, uh, who's Reuben? Reuben. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were <laughs> devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. All right. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'll be in deep then. Yep, we're gonna save Dandelion. Here you go. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. <laughs> he's always in the mood for jokes. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. The Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. All right, so this is uh, I got all to do here. uh Priscilla. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got coffee to feed. Dandy, Dandy lines away. equal, I guess. Uh, Warbler don't come home in his own. Take care now. Oh, blueberries. Seven twenty. You saw that? Oh man, that XP is piling up. All right, here you go. Here we go. Anybody there? Open up. <laughs> the boss. The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Uh, I don't care. Here you go. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben will have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. He was about to break down the, the house here. I mean, the door. <laughs> Siggy Reuben cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You made this robe 
here. Your equipment will be safe. Okay. Splendid. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Alright, here we go. Yeah, you want to do it? Easy, Cleaver. All Sun Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> uh, I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. <laughs> we gotta fight using nothing but, uh... First ever body with my prick hanging out. Ah! Yeah, we got we got to fight just using our our bath towels or whatever. All right, here we go. I can still use um Quinn here though. And junior. Oh. How many more left? Oh, there we go. One more. oh no, never mind. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse on scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, <laughs> Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds. A chat session. Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find horse, son? Find me first. Yeah, here we go. I need to find Horson. Now looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. 
Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. <laughs> I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanet. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Oh man, that was all planned. Uh, uh, all right, uh... Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Okay, what about his house? Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. All right. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your jiggle or boyfriend. <laughs> Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. 
Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Pictures worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Leveled up, baby. Be so kind as to follow me. Alright, well, let's do this quest first and then we'll go and try to find Junior. So let's, uh, let me switch here. So, secondary quest. Didn't even use a ladder. Okay, that's fine. All right. All right, All right Dijkstra. Oh, Bart! Not again, Bart. Bart, stop that now! Bart, man, Bart makes Ziggy lose Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. But her. But less thinky. But less thinky. But Sadler. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling? I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy but take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God, then boom, Jorfun go. Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly twenty tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Fine, I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. <laughs> All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look, won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes. Head fall. Yeah, I have no idea what he said. Um, let's see, uh... Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Oh. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But... But... Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? 
Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, do you see them? Bart, you hold. Once she boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bad, troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. <laughs> oh, that's true. Hi, here you go. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pop antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men. I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? I've a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've no to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty bolt's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Alright, we got investigate. And, uh, Damn, man. What the hell have you got yourself into? Here you go. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall two. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. Oh, here we go. Pipes, great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. All right, let me take that antidote because uh, we will die if we don't. All right, let's see. Oh, we already have selected. I didn't even see that. Uh, here we go. Uh, I thought Witcher's potions were vile. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. We gotta look for loot as well. I mean, that might as well, right? All right. Uh, these pipes. I'm waiting. Couldn't push much through that. Okay. Oh, we gotta drown this here. Let's get some oils on this. So, uh, necrophage. Here we go. Get some necrophage oil. There we go. Oh. Let's see ya. No, I got hit. Oh, we got it. Something. Mm, definite 
they came through here. A ring, okay. Drowner, sir. There they are. There's a guy he came in with. Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down any more than the other guy. Yet another shiny bottle. I'll take that. Mm, bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. See if there's anything else Gold back coin. here. Trail ends here. Dandelion must have loaded the treasure onto a boat. Where's that gold coin? I want to pick it up. Ah, uh, okay. All right, here we go. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? No. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. That's right. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's look around. Oh. This side, right? Nothing interesting. Okay. Uh, 
Here we go, this one looks like it. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Here we go. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel? Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Coop's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honorable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. <laughs> well, okay, man. Chill. Chill. All right. Uh... All right. Let's go to this guy's house. So, uh, Henkel. What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. I right. made some interesting friends. Footprints. Yep. All right, let's go upstairs. Here we go. See if we can find anything. All right. A letter and a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Okay. Forty-five to twelve fifty-four. Hmm. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Stain. Wyvern oil. Pretty cool, man, having a secret room like that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's take a look at this. Uh, oh, not that. There, there we go. Doo doo. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Right, so the eternal fire stole the stole the loot that these guys stole. <laughs> Sugar and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium. Looks like the instructions on how here. to build a bomb. 
contract signed by one Kelkstein. Decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, <laughs> just here for the coin. That's ah, right. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was. Have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Yes. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, there we go. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Uh, it doesn't matter. Here we go. What I've learned doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yet you agreed to help me. I am. Doesn't mean I have to confess everything. I'll let your insolence fly this time. But only because his honor, the Margrave, might indeed have something to do with the theft. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately, though to my knowledge he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. I doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, love birds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we, you know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm hmm Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. Alright. Alright, let's go meet Triss near the Eternal Fire Shrine. Whoa, whoa, you saw that? Oh, oh, and yeah, she disappeared. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, Alright, so we gotta wait for Triss around midnight, so let's do that. Here we go. Yep, there it is. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building, and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Oh. <laughs> Triss, <laughs> sure you want to do this? Out here? With everyone watching. This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. 
Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Mm-hmm. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will and in chains? Yes. Whoa. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Okay. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's come, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Uh, I, no. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? What about the treasure? <laughs> if we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Okay, let's go. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. All right, here we go. Round two. What do you want? Here for my reward. The Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold. Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're oh, done jesting, Mary. No. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's <laughs> got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Let's see, uh... Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance. For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, Ginger Whore. And you spit it out. Where's Eilhart? Tell your boss. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine. Grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. All right, let's go. Let's form a line. Here we go. <laughs> oh man, I get to kill all these guys. Oh yeah. The eternal flame will burn away our sins. Here you go. Ah! Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get. You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing.
Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen <laughs> nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin. And Merigold will get what she deserves. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. Let's see how long I can last before I break. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Tell your boys to leave Triss alone first. Not a chance. The bitch must howl. I've tried to be polite. You just won't let me. God, in here! Yeah, I just broke. <laughs> Alright, let's kill this guy. Alright, here we go. Get the oils, baby. Oh, he is down. Oh, almost killed Triss here. Okay. Go. Manga. Let me get out here. There we go. Get burned by the eternal fire, baby. Burn. That's how it feels, baby. You like getting burnt? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's for all the, the witches and mages that uh, this guy burned. There you go. Oh man, that guy's tough, man. There you go. Let's loot this guy. Oh, he didn't have crap on him, man. All right. Alright, let's kill these other witches. I mean, which ones are you Get more oils in here. Oh. Some uh, some food here. Uh, yeah. oh, I can't. Okay. Okay. Oh. oh. Yeah, these left. Oh, 
Whoa! Whoa! Almost died there. That was actually pretty good. Oh. Yeah, never mind. There you go. Yeah, we got him. I think that's all of them. That was close. What happened? I thought Menga took the bait. No, he didn't. Sensed right off it was all a front. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Yeah, I searched the body already. You had nothing. Okay, here we go. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Oh, nothing under his belt. Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. Okay. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. Spy. Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Betty does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. <laughs> okay. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. Okay, let's go. Alright. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. Okay, uh... Another guy. There we go. Yeah, that guy was easier to kill. Alright, here we go. Alright, we gotta get out of this place. There we go. This is where we split up. But first. Let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. Alright, let's go to Deekstra and tell him that we, uh, we found nothing out. Oh, what's going on? You there! Mr. Roven wants a word! Impatient old bastard. What? <laughs> nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. Will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. <laughs> I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. 
You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark, no scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure. So stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. And a final oh. humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Alright. 90 XP. Alright guys, that's it for today. So if you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.